We have started the United States national team camp for the first time. Oh my God, Christian Pulisic just talked to me. We have all the experience we could ever need right here in this room. It's time to make it count. Yeah, let's freaking go, boys. All right, so team is ready. It's the gold cup. No, it's not. It's the North American CONCACAF Nations League quarterfinal. I guess there's a quarterfinal to the Nations League now, and that's just how it works. Come on, boys! Come on! So I guess just over five years in a career with no coaching experience at all to lead our nation onto the field for the first time, and I'm about to concede in like five seconds. Don't you dare. Oh, Anthony. Still Anthony Robinson. Weston. Oh, baby. Oh, let him cook. They, Weston, they said you weren't worth 50 million. They said you weren't worth it. So vote for two defensive midfielders. Yeah. I think against better teams, we'll go with that. But this, we just wanted to start really aggressive and try and put under us away before the second leg. Geo Taylor. Geo Weston. Oh, nice. Tolkien. Love his work in Lord of the Rings also. Oh, Tillman. Yes, McKinney. Oh, back to Tillman. Through one, and it's in. Goal! All right, that goal should help see it, uh, seal it. Three away goals. I cannot imagine us losing by three goals at home to Honduras. So it's looking like Nations League semifinal, which I might have been fired on the spot if we didn't make that, but still. You still have to go to Honduras and get the result. Sean Dyche is managing Stad Rene. Wait, really? Am I? Sean Dyche got the job. I just saw that in the social feed. What? All right, let's do it, man. Let's freaking do it. All right. Leg two. We'll just rotate everybody. We have to win our home games, dude. No excuses. The Estados Unidos against Honduras. Is this Jerry's world? I actually didn't look to see where we were playing. Ferreira's pace is looking nice, though. That was really nice. Jesus Ferreira is looking like an impact wing. Give me that. Oh, uh, again with the pace from Jesus Ferreira. I mean, seriously, the pace has been a separator. Tillman, Florin Belogan, Jesus Ferreira. Oh, brilliant. What a match from Jesus Ferreira. He is a noob stomper. He's that same way in real life. Uh-oh, uh-oh, da, 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 da. Uh uh -oh. we're leaving him wide open. Come on, guys. The comeback is on, it's 6-1. What are we doing? Oh, Canada's beating Haiti. So it'll be Canada, Mexico, U.S., and Jamaica, which, in my opinion, are the four best CONCACAF teams. So Selman I, oh, the youngster looking for Jesus. Whoa there, James Sands. Uh, I need to see that again. I saw a vicious volley at the end of it. Pretty bad ball from Elmanai, but it got there. Ferreira took a deflection. Sands header. Headed it into the guy. It fell to him. He just ripped a top of the foot volley off the bottom of the crossbar. That is... I'm dropping that guy from the national team, though. But nice shot. Is Adunze a decent option in the future goalkeeper? He was not in the six or seven guys that we considered. So wherever he's gone in his career has not set himself up well. And now he scored a second goal. He's like, really? Are you going to drop me? Are you really going to drop me from the national team? It's 8-1 on aggregate, Zealand. You're going to drop me? A nice swan song for James Sands. One of the player, one of the U.S. national team players that I have, quite honestly, the weirdest IRL affiliation with, like real-life affiliation with, because... I know his sister. I used to work with his sister. She was like, yeah, I have a brother that plays in the NYCFC Academy. Like, he's pretty good, I swear. Like, I think he's going to be in the, like, I think he's going to play for NYCFC. I was like, oh, no way, that's cool. And then it just ended up being James Sands, who, like, plays in the U.S. national team.
Wow, they're like, be cautious. I'm not feeling cautious against Stade Brestois today. I'm feeling aggressive. We're on three straight wins, and we're playing Stade Brestois. I want a nice dominant performance. We got to pack the way in. We got three straight dub skis. We just beat Marseille in the derby. Toure. Oh, see ya. Say do Toure. Say do Toure. Scabella Mokoena. We're hunting that European spot, man. I told you. We're hunting that European spot. Shelter up. Oh, my goodness. Andreas Shelter up. That would, he should have squared it, but that would have been a nasty goal. Also, we were very easily able to fund our last coaching course. I don't know if that would have been the same at knock either. Oh, nice pass. Was he on? He was. Goal! What a match for Sainu Toure. He's finally delivered a good match this season in legal. It's Sadu Toure with an assist and a goal. Well done, boys. Couple of goals, keeping the ball. Looking good on the road against a relegation favorite. It's what we need. Bondo's been huge, Chad. We have not talked enough about Warren Bondo. That guy has done all the little things. And right now we're four points behind PSG. That's, you know, if you told me we would do that after 15 matches. I would have shaken your hand off. They're obviously having a bit of a down year, but. Rodier. Oh. One more for the road, guys. One more for the road. Square it. Ah. <laughs> really, only 17 road matches in the league every year. Every win in a road match is a big deal. Proud of you guys. Handled the road, handled the adversity. Picked up the win against a team we should be beaten. We can feel good that we took care of the business we needed to take care of. All right, so this is the draw. North American Nations League semifinal. Former Jamaica coach. That is the former Jamaica coach. I can't remember his first name. Uh, Just give me Jamaica, dude. Just give me Jamaica. All right, good Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Dang it. All right, it's Mexico, Jamaica, us, and Canada. Fair enough, dude. All right, this is the worst team in the league, guys. We got to be uh, we gotta be at our best here. This is the worst team in the league. I expect victory today. Come on now, lads. We owe Claremont foot from last season. <laughs> we win this. It's five wins in a row, which would be an unbelievable turnaround. It's the worst team in the league at home. Paul was really saying that, though, Chad. He really was. Uh, he's very relaxed. Fe he feels very welcomed. He thought there would be, like, a higher barrier to entry in terms of people, like, you know, thinking he knew ball or anything. He really appreciated that. He felt welcomed and he enjoyed hanging out, for sure. So I think, I think that's just the nature of the community we've built. What a lovely goal for Warren Bondo. It's his first goal. Oh, no. Toure was offside. That's so poggers, Chad. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with our performance. We're not doing diddly or squat right now, man. Oh, get in, Warren Bondo. Come on, baby. Warren Bondo. Oh, my good lad. Yes, Warren Bondo. Any day now, Raph. Thank you. Big win, baby. Saint at the end. Watch out. Two points off PSG. Watch out for Saint at the end. All matches in hand played. We are in seventh after five consecutive wins. We have left the relegation zone. A distant freaking memory. We're playing all the bad teams and we are padding our point total, dude. We have one match before we've played everybody. This is our last match, and then we have played everybody over the course of the first half of the season, and we will be better the second half of the season. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. What do we do? I'd like to talk about a new contract. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic idea. I appreciate it. You know, we want to make sure we have a secure future, but I have an idea. Watch. When they propose that new contract, I have an idea. We're going to make it so that we can move for free 
so that it's easier for us to get another job. Oh, we play Saint Priest. Association Sportive de Saint Priest. I am so good at draw. If drawing non-league teams won you the World Cup, I would I would win it. I draw nothing but non-league teams. Oh, they're more than doubling my salary. Well, that's interesting. I don't know. Like the percentage of club compensation. A clause reduces the amount of compensation the club is entitled to should the head coach be offered a coaching role elsewhere. Like, okay, this is locked in there at 30%. I didn't want to lock it and lose the negotiation. So I was trying to get them to put it in there without locking it. But that's fine. This is an important match away against Stad Dareem. If we can execute right in this match, we might be able to start to dream. Yeah, I think we roll with the same team. They're going 4-2-3 run right back at us. We'll just make sure we keep track of that right back who's going to be coming further forward. Oh, it's just a terrible mistake there. Nice. There you go. Way to keep the pace in the play, Sadu. Bondo. Bringing it back. Vanden Bowman. Martins! Still don't think he has a goal, but boy, does he try. Oh, squares it. Unbelievable play from Rodier to Militieri. Oh, that was exactly what the doctor ordered for the men in green. Maxime Rodier on the short bounce to Mulatieri. Lovely delivery over the top from the deep line playmaker, Martins. And they've stayed after it. They've stayed aggressive. Uh, no, my goodness. Right when you're getting back in, draw the match. Going for the win. Freaking corner. I don't need to watch it. We haven't conceded on a set piece in so long. Play it short. Good have it. Oh, corner. All right, come on. We can score on this corner. We got a chance to chase the win. We can score on this corner. We have a chance to chase the win. And she, oh, back to Rodier. Okay. Back in. Scramble. At Comier. That was on target. Wow. Oh, it's a very frustrating match that we should have won. First two goals, we just gifted them to him and terrible performance all first half and that first legs. Oh, nice. Seven guys in the box in front of you and you're taking that first time. No, oh, it's a bitterly disappointing loss against a team that we were absolutely better than you know what i'm tired of trying chap i'm tired i'm tired of trying i'm tired of trying with the pronunciation i am i'm exhausted angers saint priest metz leal nice montpellier paris saint german rennes strasbourg lorient monaco Lens, nantes marseille brest claremont foot reams lion Nobody cares. If the U.S. didn't exist, you'd be pronouncing it in German. America forever. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm broke. I'm broke. I can't do French pronunciation, dude. All right. Coupe de France away against Saint-Priest. So, shall kid, you can offer a contract. Uh, can we yet? I thought it was the first. But I mean, I'm I'm down. Nicholas Arno. Oh, we can. Oh, give him a mill. Yeah, I'm thinking because my issue is the reason we want to do this is because other teams might be interested in him. 
And we want to make sure we give him the best contract that makes us really happy on the inside. But that would be an absolute monster signing. I would be so excited to cinch that deal and bring him in. I told you, I knew we weren't going to be the only one. I knew we weren't going to be the only one. I wish I could change the playing time we were giving him, but I'm actually going to give him like crazy money. I I am absolutely dead serious. I, this kid's a star, and I will give him star money. I'm going to give him all the cash. This is why I was thinking about maybe we want to do a transfer offer too. Who is it? Lee, it's all the it's all the teams. Why did all these guys play in the freaking reserve match? Why did they play in the reserve match, dude? I I thought I didn't. I might I must have misclicked. There's no other explanation. I must have just misclicked, whatever. That's that's frustrating. Yeah, they're going to struggle to see out the match. So are my eyes, all right? Oh, bad pass. Good vision, bad pass. Mate Samugu loves a long shot. Very good at them. Mikkel Brensis Mulitieri. Oh! Let the goal bonanza begin, chat. Let the bonanza begin. St. Etienne leads. Body is a temple. I mean, I used to drink a ton of Arnold Palmer's because that was cheaper than water when I was in college. <laughs> but uh, then one day somebody read to me what was in an Arnold Palmer, and I was like, ah, dang it. And then I didn't have enough money to drink really anything other than water for a while, and now I just really love water. <laughs> That's basically oh! it. If I'm in a normal U.S. bodega, like a store, and I'm just looking for, like, oh, Diallo, get on that score sheet, son. Way to go. Probably, like, just a very normal U.S. store, nothing fancy or anything. I'm probably going to grab, like, a Heineken. I give Liam Scales a reward for being such a good sport about not playing much. All right, 4-0. Good goal for Liam Scales there just to get him some happiness. <laughs> We're buying him some happiness. Come on! We got this guy. I think he's a freaking stud, man. We gave him so much money. Uh, he rejected the other offers. Does he become our highest paid player? Yes. Do I care? No. Because we have the money, and that kid is a star. That kid is the right wing we always wanted. I'm going to try and add him to our team right now. Buy now is 725K. Uh, yes. Nicholas Arnu. So athletic and creative. Solid technical ability, which you just wouldn't expect for a guy that has that ability. Gets into the opposition area, which is fun. Knocks ball past opponent, which is great thing to have. Picks the ball up, runs with it down the right. Also has he was 6 one solid jumping reach on the wing as well, so he can finish off those back post crosses if they find him. Professional uh, personality. Yeah, but the 20 determination the guy's going to be. Yeah, the aggression, the bravery is a tremendous pressure applier on the opposition team just turned 20 years old stars in fm24 in terms of potential are very unreliable that guy's got the ability that makes us excited all right now guys stonks we bought lekovic for 1 million and we have sold stefan lekovic for 11 million dollars to elche he's a good center back but my word what a sale for St. Etienne. Our beautiful flower is wilting. Yeah, well, I'm trying to loan a uh, bad boy so that he is able to continue to develop. I want like a second division French team to be like, yes, we want Lalamella. All right, Grads Fueler signed with us. That's good news. Uh, Jan Schumacher wants to be a star player. Yeah, it's obviously something we're going to have to agree to. Uh, we'd obviously have to give him some serious cashola. So there's your cash, Jan.
18 acceleration, 19 agility. His ability to separate, particularly in tighter spaces, is, you know, world class. He has he, he is world class at separating from people in tight spaces. All right, believe it or not, we made it into the 10th round of the cup, and we are playing a third division team. It's amazing the type of draws we get. So they selected four substitutes. I am aware. It's our second round of being in the French Cup. We're playing a third division team. Mechelbrinsis. Torres is not the right guy to be aiming for. Rodier. Amugu! Matisse! Amugu! Mechelbrinsis. Martins. Amugu. Rodier! That is just tremendous. From Saint Etienne. Nearly unplayable. Torres is one of those new guys still kind of looking for his role. Looking for his breakout moment where we go, yeah, that guy's real good. Hasn't happened yet. We trust his ability. We know what we signed, but hasn't been a difference maker for us. Arno Torres. You know, I all I gotta do, really, is just speak about it. Just a little bit. Grenoble's played in Europe before. All right, yeah, this stadium looks legit. This looks like a 25, 30,000 seater with great atmosphere. Obviously, I'm sure their stadium in real life looks completely different, but it relative size is be accurate. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know Torres didn't score it, but we're finally noticing Luis Torres making plays. This was a very confident play from Luis Torres. He just ran away from their team. He receives the ball dead in the center of the circle and just keeps running, and they don't anticipate the speed and control he has. Should have scored. Muletieri's there to clean it up. Yep, Torres. Give him another one. What a stormer for Luis Torres. Oh, Michael Brensis said, not in my house. Arno, dude, come on. Where's the cohesion, brother? Wow, whoa, what, I mean. That pass right there is a dime, and it obviously became a bit of a mess and it barely squeezed it in, but that pass over the top was really, really impressive. So it's not our no, it's our new. I know the X is silent. I wasn't saying our Uh, but so it's our new, our new winger. <laughs> All right, boys, uh, comeback is on. You can't tell me that wasn't good. I know most of the ones that I drop are cringe. So it's our new, our new winger, because his last name is apparently our new. Come on, that's elite. All right, we bottle this. 5-0 on the road against the third division team. I'm going to lose my mind. First goal. Yes. <laughs> it took a giant deflection. He hit it right at the keeper, as is Joel Martin's tradition. What a fun game. Six two. That's how you spice up an early round cup match right there. What an exhilarating, rip-roaring good time that was. I don't think I want him. Can I say something crazy controversial? Can I completely turn this on its head? I don't know if I want him. Now that I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, the fact that we beat out RB Leipzig is crazy. Because this guy can play across the front four, which means I think he'll find his spot in the lineup most of the time. The funny thing is I, like, have to take this. 
I, I like have to take this because he's going to be worth 30 to 40 million next year if we wanted to move him. And he obviously, with the interest of the clubs that they have around the world, I uh, like, you know, anytime you've got Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, all interested in the same player, Liverpool has rumored interest. And we've managed to land him, Jan Schumacher. I mean, that's something that, like, you've got to take it. But he shifts around the structure of our squad for sure. He shifts around the structure of our squad for sure. So, yes, we're doing it. It's a monster transfer that we did not expect to be able to win over RB Leipzig. But we have completed a $10 million signing of a real potential star. And a guy that... uh as a really bright future. Everybody is in agreement. But can he help us this season in the league that we are trying to win? That remains to be seen. All right, what is this? Round of 16? Just give me give, give me the one non-league team left. Borg Peronis. Oh, we are at, we're at home against a second division team. That's not the worst thing in the world. 